Not only South Africa, but our neighboring country, Namibia, is also celebrating good summer rains over some of the regions. That's why I wanted to start with this incredible collection of stormy photos taken in the western parts of Namibia near the Namib Nauklouf National Park. It's storming this Thursday evening over large parts of the Dart Streak and Eastern Cape, and we are expecting more thunderstorms on Wednesday. So here's your full forecast. <laughs> Let's start with your Wednesday synoptic analysis where it's going to be cloudy with light showers possible along the southern coastline as well as in parts of the low felt. Then later isolated thunderstorms stretching over the central parts of the country. Those showers and thunderstorms becoming scattered to widespread over the eastern and northern parts of the eastern Cape. And stormy conditions also expected to reach the western and northern parts of Kuzuli Natal with stormy conditions along the southern Jarkensburg where the South African Weather Service has issued a level 1 yellow warning for the possibility of severe thunderstorms which could lead to excessive lightning as well as heavy downpours, hail and damaging winds on Wednesday from late afternoon. It's a cloudy start your Wednesday for the Western Cape with an onshore southerly wind blowing, later a south southeasterly wind blowing fresh over the peninsula with a high of 24 degrees in Cape Town. Light showers possible in the morning over parts of the Overberg and it's also a cloudy and much cooler day with light rain expected in the garden route with temperatures remaining in the lower 20s. Light rain possible in the morning in Kabecha with later half 25 degrees becoming partly cloudy and stormy on Wednesday afternoon over the interior of the Eastern Cape. It's in the northeastern parts where we do have a warning for the possibility of severe thunderstorms and a southwesterly wind picking up along the coast of the Eastern Cape. Northeasterly winds for the coastal areas of Kuzuli Natal. It's partly cloudy, hot and humid. And on Wednesday late afternoon as well as into the evening, the stormy conditions expected to reach the southern as well as the northern parts. In Pumalanga, it's cloudy at first. A few light showers possible in the low felt, later becoming hot with 32 degrees Mombela. Also a cloudy start to your day with drizzle possible along the eastern scarp and as well as in Zanin, later 27 degrees and a sunny, hot and dry day for the bushveld. In northwest, you can expect temperatures around 30 degrees with only a few isolated thunderstorms possible from late afternoon. Another dry and windy day for the southern and central parts of the northern Cape. An onshore southerly wind expected along the coast, but a few isolated thunderstorms possible over the extreme south as well as eastern parts. And then in the free states, becoming stormy from late afternoon, scattered thunderstorms expected over the extreme southern parts with only a few isolated thunderstorms likely to develop over the north. Another hot day for Halting, 29 degrees in Pretoria with only evening thunderstorms possible over the high felt. Into Thursday, it's sunny and dry in the west, the southeast are picking up in Cape Town with a half 28 degrees and isolated thunderstorms expected over the central as well as the eastern parts. On Friday, a gust in Cape Doctor expected in the mother city but a hot afternoon with a half 30 degrees and stormy weather expected over the central and eastern parts of the country, stretching over Kuzuli Natal and Pumalanga. Well, that's all from me. And remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.